four nations that will be in the Champions League over in Italy as the top four has been secured. But who's actually going to win the title? Still got that to be decided. All that's coming at you next. Today we look forward to match number 36, that's right, over in Syria. Ah, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button, keep banging today. All things uh, Syria related, Babylon Road related, world football related. We're going to all hear boys under one rooster. That's right, of course. Uh, Milan, that's AC, Internazionale, Juventus and Napoli will be in Champions League next season, of course, as they've secured top four. But who's actually going to win the title? We'll take a look at that and more in a second. Of course, big big shout out to my VRPs. They are the patrons, guys. Thank you for loving, of course, by the season. You know who you are. But anyway, let's get into it, of course. Revis visit last weekend's action, bring you bang up to date with the Prediction League and all that kind of stuff coming at you right here, right now. So let's go over then, shall we? Here are the results. AC Milan with a just a cheeky one to win over Fiorentina. Big win for them. From Roma, of course, the 0-0 draw, which of course ends their top four hopes with Mourinho in charge. But of course, they're in the, the Conference League semi-finals. Big chance for them to get some silverware uh, with Mourinho at the helm on this one. Atalanta with their one more draw against Salantina. Of course, they're making a, a, a go of it, aren't they? Kelly with a 2-1 loss against Hellas Verona. A 2-1 win for them on the road. And Pauli with a 3-1 loss against Torino. You Juventus with a 2-1 win over Venezia. Sampdoria with a big win over Genoa. Do you know what I mean? Of course, especially with a 3-4 loss to Lazio. Seven goal, Bobby Dazzler on that one. Napoli, 6-1 win over Salcillo. And in Internationale with a 2-1 win. Oh, Udinese, of course. That's, of course, the games that did take place this past weekend. What about, of course, the table looks like this then, shall we? As you can see, uh, as I can see as well. AC Milan with 77 points on the board. Internationale with 75. They've played the same amount of games. Could go either. And one mistake. One mistake could cost you the title on this one. Napoli, of course. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, they could still mathematically win the title. But, of course, I think they need... Uh, do, or can they? Or can Let me just do my math. How many games do we have left? Is it, is it two or is it bloody three? Uh, I think it could be just two, right? One, two, and three. One, two... Three, three games left. Three games left. So, yes, they can. They, they, they still can catch them. Of course, down the foot of the table, we, uh, Venezia, look like they're toast. Uh, Genoa also. Salatina have got a game in hand, as do Venezia. Uh, I think they're actually playing tonight, or very, very close to tonight anyway. So, uh, big, big for them. Of course, if they can get that, they could actually be uh, 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 heading out of the drop zone for the first time in a long, long time. They've hit a good bit of form at the right time of asking. What about uh, who's hit a good bit of form in our own prediction league? Well, take about these guys. Uh, we've got Nat again with eight points. Now, and Deep at the Great with also eight points. Uh, Jimmy Watton up there with seven as well. Well done to all of you guys. Well done, especially to the patrons who are... Uh, look at this. Mad shit, bat shit, crazy. Yeah! There you go. That's, of course, the mini leaderboard from, of course, January. It's 37 with 93 points. Shane O'Donnell's up there with 90. And, of course, Costas K's up there with 86. You know who you are. Um, I don't know what we're on there. Some psychedelic craziness. Uh, of course, as you can see right here, right now, uh, we are. it's the month of May. Of course, who is actually the winner of the, of the prediction of the month for April? We'll take a look at that in a second. Of course, you can win multiple months. There can be multiple winners. And, of course, if you are one of the winners from, from August onwards, you get into, into the Wall of Fame. So who is the winner or who are the winners? Winners uh, of April for Syria. Ah, deep at the great, of course it is. Absolutely fantastic stuff for him. He joins this illustrious list. It's actually only his second entry here in a very, very spicy looking uh, Syria R Wall of Fame. If your name's in there, you've got a chance to win a, a gift card or something like that at the end of it. We'll see what it is uh, when, of course, the season comes to a close. So who's actually winning, uh, of course, the Premier League over in Italy? Well, I'll take a bloody bow, this guy. Deep out the great. 186 on the board there, but it is a tight, tight race. As you can see, I think anybody in the top 10 still has it. Maybe maybe top nine. Still have a realistic shot of ousting deep out the great. Probably top five. You really got a good chance. So uh, a good couple of strong weeks left to make uh, to see who become the king of Italy. That's, of course, the state of play there. What about, of course, if you want to get involved, Cutty Fortress City. Ah, there is the link. Get in amongst it, of course. These are the games, of course, including a bit of a Brucey bonus for Salonantina. They are going to be taking on Fenizia coming at you on Thursday. May the 5th be with you. Sigue de Mayo, that's right. Of course, take a look at this game then, shall we, of course, uh, on uh, May the 5th. Now, these two sides have played each other 23 times in 1907. Level 1 to Salonantina for 6 wins for Venezia and 6 draws, of course. Salonantina, though, coming to this 58% for unbeaten the last four. Uh, of course, up against the Venezia side, who haven't won the last 10 games, of course. Last time around, though, in Salonantina, it was a 2 1 win for Salonantina back in April 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, a 2 1 win for Salonantina in Venezia back in October 2021 as well. Uh, 
Uh, Santina unbeaten against Valencia over the last uh, four occasions, picking up four wins on the bounce. Uh, meanwhile, Santina also did pick up a draw against Al At Atalanta on the road last time around as well. Uh, of course, Valencia with a 2 1 loss against Juve. Uh, of course, 4 to 3 on is Salatina on this one. 13 5 is draw. 7 to 2 is your way win. It's Venezia on this. Going to go with a win for uh, Salatina here to take three points and, of course, possibly get out of the drop zone for the first time in a long, long time. Next, of course, we have Fiorentina. They're going to be locking the horns up against Roma from uh, from Thursday all the way through to Monday here. Of course, a bit of a game this one over at the Stadio Atomino Franchi. Pleasure of the 59 times in 94. 11 wins for Fiorentina, 34 wins for Roma, and we've got 14 draws, of course. Fiorentina, though, without a win in four, 33% form for them. Up against Roma side, also without a win in four, 58% form heading into this match as well. Last round in Fiorentina was a 2 1 win for Roma back in March 2021. The reverse picture, of course, a 3 1 win for Roma back in August as well. Roma won five of the bouts against Fiorentina and will make it looking for a six peat as well. However, Roma did uh, draw the back to back games for them, drawing with Leicester and Bologna, uh, and also got a bit of distraction this week uh, in the Europa League semi or Europa Conference League semi final as well. Mina Fiorentina with a 1 0 loss against Milan. Back to back games now without a goal for them. The odds for this one though 29 to 20 is your host, 23 to 10 is your 9 to 5 is your way in. Of course, I'm back in Mourinho's boys, 2 1 for them. For me, I think they would have won that. If you looked back at all my predictions, I think they would have won the title. Wow, wow, we were. Genoa, well, of course, up against Juventus. That's coming out on uh, May the 6th. Be with you now. These two sides have played each other. Uh, 37 times in 93, 4 wins for Genoa, 24 wins for Juventus, and 8 draws. Of course, just 1 and 5 there for Genoa right now. 33% for them. Up against the Juventus side, uh, just 1 defeat past 6, 75% for them heading into this match as well. Last round over in Genoa, so 3 1 win for Juventus back in December 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 2 1 for, for Juventus back in December this campaign. Juventus winning 6 on the bounce at the very least. Uh, and they're coming to this on the back of that 2 1 win over Venezia. Uh, meanwhile, Genoa with a 1 loss against Sampdoria uh, for them. Uh, uh, big loss for them. Of course, coming at you though, 16 to 5 is your Genoa, 13 to 5 is your draw, 6 to 5 on is your Juventus. Of course, you're going to back the away side here. A uh, 2 to 1 for them on the road on this one. Torino, they're going to be taking on Napoli. Of course, coming at you on Saturday, May the 7th. Now, these two sides have played each other three times in 93. 5 wins for Torino, 15 wins for Napoli, and 13 draws as well. Torino, though, unbeaten in the last six games, the same 5 percent form for them. Up against the Napoli side, just 1 minute 4 for them, 58 percent form, but they will be playing Champions League football next season, of course. Last, next, uh, last time around in Torino, was a 2 0 win for Napoli. That was back in April 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, a 1 win for Napoli back in Naples back in October 2021 as well. Napoli unbeaten against Torino over the last six, picking up three wins and three draws and the fancy the chances this summer as well. 3-1 win it was for Torino over Empoli last time around and Napoli with a 6-1 win over South Sulio last time around. The odds for this one, we have 13-5 is your host, 5-2 is your even Stevens is of course your Napoli on this one. They are favoured to win this one and I'm going to give it to a draw here. Surprise, surprise 2-2 in the end. Maybe they'll take the foot off the gas uh, Napoli now that they know they'll be in Champions League next season. Once again, Venezia uh, can uh, double match week for them up against Bologna as well, coming out on Sunday and May the 8th be with you. Play each other seven times in 1998. One with Venezia, four wins for Bologna, and two draws, of course. Venezia, of course, winless in the past 10, uh, maybe 11 games, of course, up against the Bologna side. Uh, unbeaten, though, in the last six games, six seven four for them heading into this match as well. Picking up uh, four draws and two wins over the last six. Uh, last round in Venezia was a, a one win for Bologna, but that's back in uh, uh, September 2001. The reverse fixture, of course, a one win for Venezia in Bologna back in November 2020. And in fact, the home side hasn't won this game since Bologna beat Venezia in Bologna way back uh, in 1999. Uh, of course, Bologna with a new draw against Roma, of course, uh, Venezia with a 2-1 loss against Juve, and of course losing to Salatina. Back-to-back uh, -back defeats, oh, well, another another defeat for them heading into this one. Of course, the odds for this one we have, what are we looking at here? We have Venezia coming at you, uh, a 2-1 for the victory, 30-10 is your Bologna, and a 12-5 is your draw. Back, of course, a 2-1 uh, for Bologna here. Uh, uh, Venezia are in trouble. Next, of course, we have Verona. Uh, they're going to be taking on AC Milan, coming at you on Sunday, May the uh, 8th. Uh, Played each other 22 times in the 6 4 wins for Verona, 11 wins for, for Milan, and 7 draws. Of course, just one win. Sorry, one defeat. One defeat for Verona, uh, of course, the last six, six, seven percent form for them. Up against the Milan side, just one defeat of the last six for them, six, seven percent form for them heading into this match as well. Last time, of course, over in Verona, it was a 2 0 win for AC Milan back in March 2020 on the reverse fixture, of course. A 3 2 win for Milan in Milan back in October this campaign. Milan unbeaten against Verona over the last six, picking up four wins and a couple of draws. Meanwhile, Verona picked up a 2 1 win over Cagliari last time round, and Milan with a 1 win over Fiorentina. Of course, the odds for this one, though, Verona, the 60 to 5 of the victory, 5 to 4 on is your, is your AC, and 40 to 5 is your draw here. Back in, of course, AC Milan here, 1 0 win for them, just enough to get over the line, three points keep themselves top of the pops heading into of course the back end of the season internationally taking on M. Pauli of course coming out on May uh, May the 6th be with you that's a Friday uh, played to the 26 times in 1998 uh, 22 wins for internationally 2 for M. Pauli and 2 draws as well just 1 defeat the past 6 though for internationally right now 83% form for them I guess M. Pauli side just 1 win and 6 for them 33% form heading into this match as well last round over in uh, in uh, uh, in Milan in the league, it was a 2-1 win for International back in May 2019. They also played each other in the Copa Italia, round of 16, in Milan, in, in the, the San Siro. Uh, or the Giuseppe, Giuseppe Mezza, of course, was a 3-2 win for International back in January. They also played each other in the reverse fixture in Empire. It was a 2-1 win for International as well. So Inter Inter Internationale winning six on the bounce over Empire as well. 
looking very, very good. Making looking for another one as well. Torino did beat Empoli three one loss three one three one win for Torino. An international with the two winner Udinese last time on the odds for this one. Of course, six one on. Is your international equal seven to one short, twelve to one is your long shots. That's it, Pally. Don't back, of course, the wayside three anyway. Comfortable win for the home side. On this one, Lazio up against Mar Boy Sam Doria coming on Sunday, May the 7th. Be with you. Uh, Pleasure the 48 times at 94, 29 wins for Lazio, 10 wins for Sam Doria, and 9 draws. Of course, you're 1 feet past 5 for Lazio, around 58% for them against the Sam Doria side. Back to back uh, games without a loss for them. 42% for them heading into this. Last time around in Rome, it was a 1 win for Lazio back in February 2021. The reverse fixture, of course, in Sam Doria back in December was a 2 a 3 1 win for Lazio back in the day. Uh, Sam Doria with a 1 win over Genoa last time around. Lazio with a 3 uh, 4 3 win over Spezia and a bit of a Bobby Dazzler on the last one there. Lazio 20 to 9 on for the Richie 7 2 draw 5 to one is your away win that's Sam Dora on this one back and of course the Sari ball here with a one win for them are at home to take it to the house Sao Sulio of course need a response after their drubbing last weekend of course up against Udinese now these two sides average the 17 times to 2013 four wins for Sao Sulio seven wins for Udinese and six draws of course just one win of five though for Sao Sulio right now 33% form of the last six up against a uh, Udinese side who uh, pick up 58% form winning three of the last six of course heading into this match as well last round in Sao Sulio was a 0-0 draw back in November 2020 the reverse fixture of course a 3-2 win for Udinese back in November this campaign. Udinese um, pick up a 2-1 loss against the Internationale. Of course, South Sudo with a, a 6-1 loss against Napoli last round on this one as well. Looking at the odds for here, 5-4 is your South Sudo, 50-8 is just Udinese and 30-5 is your draw. Going to go with a one more draw in the end on this one. Next, of course, we have up against Atalanta, of course. Uh, Lucky ones on Sunday, May the 6th. Now, these two sides, oh, sorry, May the 8th. Played play each other four times on 14-3 for Atalanta. Nothing for Spezia. One draw, of course. One win in the last six uh, for Spezia right now. 25% form up against the Atalanta side. Just one win in six for them. 33% form for them. Heading into this match as well. Last round, of course, over in uh, Spetcher, it was a 0 0 draw back in November 2020. The reverse fixture, of course, a 5 2 win for Atalanta way back when. Meanwhile, Spe uh, Atalanta with a draw against Salatina last round. Spetcher with a loss, a big loss against uh, Lazio last round. The odds for this one, though, coming at you. Spetcher 11 2 with the victory, uh, 29 on is your course, your Atalanta, and 7 2 is your draw back, of course, Atalanta with a 3 1 win on the road. Final game here, Salatina up against Cagliari. Big week for them. Can, of course, they make it another win as they try to do the great escape. Coming at you as well on Sunday, May the 8th. Be with you. Play each other 50 times in 1997. Four wins Salatina. Seven was Cagliari, four draws, of course. Santina unbeaten, of course, the last four, including the last five, including the, that game as well. Uh, Cagliari, with, of course, just one and six them, 70% form, they could be going down. Last time, of course, over in Salatina was a two-new win for Cagliari back in December 2015 in Serie B. The reverse fixture, of course, a one-one draw back in November this campaign. Meanwhile, Salatina with a draw against Atalanta, of course, with a win as well, in my eyes. And, of course, Verona with a two-one win of Cagliari last time as well. The odds for this one, we have 11-8 is your host, 23-10 is your draw, and 2 one is your way win. That's Cagliari. I'm going with Salatina with another win to make it a, a big week for them. Of course, that's it. Be sure to get your picks in, of course, Santina. A uh, couple of shots to the ah, they are there. Make sure you smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell, and of course, uh, hit the subscribe for all that kind of stuff. But until then, boys, we're done right now.